you're young and you're a teenager when you leave your house and you stay separately and then you pretend not to speak to them or know them and avoid them and go far, far away. It sometimes hurts because sometimes, many times it comes to your mind you want to do. Talk to your people from where you came. You want to talk to your friends. But I kept on avoiding. And I learned that mantra self control is too painful. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> After you get a bloody thick on your face and blood spills up from your nose, and the master asks you, How was it? and you must say, It was painful, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Bhagavad Gita course, this is the 18th one. Self control is a mantra of success from the children. For the baby children, I run school, so I know the pre primary nursery, LK, UK children, jolly training. Sometimes the village people do not teach them. So they allow the children to have the open air condition, toilets of India, <laughs> land. But then when they come to the school, the first three or four years, like the Japanese, the Rakum schools also. Teaches them self control, how to use the toilet. Toilet training, they call it. How to say namaste, how to eat the food, etc. etc. Self control. If they, the children were not being taught that self control, then when they go to the primary and high school, then every teacher in the class have to keep, keep telling, out of the 40 minutes class, 39.9 minutes goes on telling. Keep quiet, keep quiet. <laughs> then who is teaching? Even if the children are a little silent also, they are not listening because the ears are not open. The self-control is a mantra of success, says the holiest of the holy book of Bhagavad Gita. The words which spilled out the pearls of wisdom, spilled out from the mouth of to Lord Krishna, self-control is the mantra of success. And that has been beautifully coined by the Indian actress, the late Sri Devi. Don't complain, don't explain. And Asha came to me and said, my sisters, Asha is totally blind. And she came to me and said, my father and mother in the COVID, both of them died in a week's time. I was left alone and all my sacred ch ch sisters, they started asking for the part of the property. And now they stopped talking to me. I said, Asha, you are saying near to me, Asha, in Devanali, that too you are saying behind the international airport, you know, planes. She said, keep that plane and take off. She said, yes. Keep this mantra with you, please. She said, yes. Whenever they, they fight with you, you keep these two planes with you. One is, don't complain, don't explain. <laughs> that self control. She called me and she said, there are sectors who whenever my sisters go, I call them. They refused to pick up the telephone and uh, several times when they pick up, they kept on calling, you didn't divide the property, you have to give me this government. I never explained, I did not complain. I only kept on asking them, how are you, how is your husband, you are my sweet sister, I miss you. <laughs> and on the other side, after three or four hundred, the other side sisters started crying, they come into the house. Self-control of Bhagavad Gita, the, the pearls which spilled out are from the mouth of Lord Krishna. The God of all the Hindus said self-control is the mantra of success. If everybody has understood that one, there will be 
orgasmic experience, satories after satories, leads you to enlightenment, the spiritual master says. But on the materialistic world, they say the self-control without releasing immediately, holding on, holding on, satories after satories, till both sides come to a point of understanding and then they both find the husband and wife, the lovers find the orgasmic experience. And that is what all the Japanese business people have done it. Not the Miyamoto Musashi is taking. If somebody touches you, or if somebody touches you, you cut this skin. If somebody cuts your skin, you cut his flesh. If they cut your flesh, you cut his bone. And if he cuts your bone, you take his life. Too deep, too penetrating. It's more powerful than a chest. But here, it is not cutting through. <coughs> In a Japanese business meeting, they keep on pouring the green tea. And you keep on pouring the old said, Both of you watching with the sumo wrestler, watching and watching and watching when. A time will come and both are ready to the fight, both are ready. And immediately they say, come by. They say, yes, the deal is struck. Sometimes it will take two months, two years. Sometimes the same night, the Saturday evening at around 10 o'clock and the early morning at 4 o'clock, the deal is struck. Yes. That orgasmic experience to understand. No, no deal is signed. Majority deals are not signed. It is a basic trust to understand, yes, to each other, whether you can spend more time. That spending more time is very, very important to get self-control as mantra. Spending more time in meditation, spending more time trying to understand and talk to you. If everybody has understood that, you have done your success. They say before you go to the stage, you have to practice thousand times. Then you have the self-control because Brightly you will not attack, brightly you will not speak. It's like the loose motion training the children, toilet training, and they will say, Miss one, Miss two. And then the children are guided to the bathroom. But in the political arena, in the Indian business arena, we can see loose motion from the mouth. They are not being toilet trained, just sticking. And that's where they give up all the secrets. They caught kitchen talk. Ladies have got no control on the mom. Boom, 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 boom. Hold on to the self control. To get self control, you have to practice your samskruti. And the samskruti involves a strict routine early morning. 4 30, you get up. Before the sunrise, before the Guest arrives, the guest comes in the form of God, and when you neglect it, so much you made, and it all finishes in a day's time. That self control is the Surya Namaskar. You look at the sun, yes. you look at the pranayama, the breathing. And then you understand that you have to take the spanner and make sure that every joint have to be loosened up. Today, all the children, uh, school students are going to the bicycle, they all stop in the reception. I was talking to somebody else, and somebody came and told me, All the children are waiting for you, they are waving at you. I got up and said, Oh, it's a huge amount of bicycles which are given to them. And I told them, Spaniel and Pivot, even if it is not loosened, also make sure that Spaniel goes and touches all the joints. It becomes a fabric. That you take the pump and you make sure that when the air is here, you just take it up, press and take it back. That makes the cycle. You don't have to repair. Please go on all your bodies, spread up, loosen up all the joints, stretching. When you stretch, your vision and mission happens. When you stretch it, you can see the answers are so wild that you have put a small fish to catch. Fish. Then you are doing a small pen drive. You can pin put the whole world inside the pen. All your ideas. Nobody can even see that you carry on. So 